there's no parking, so we gotta go in a parking garage. And I don't know where the elevator is. Oh, here we go. Fine street level parking, so we gotta use a parking garage. Alright guys, I have to go in three elevator rides to get to the 26th floor. Look at that. Oh man, that's just goofy. Good view though from here. Let's see. Yeah, nice view. Hope I don't have to pay to park. The mission now is to get out of here as fast as possible. And hope to God I don't pay a parking ticket. We made it! Guys, we got another awesome order. It's from another sushi place. Today is going amazing. Oh my gosh. And it's gonna rain, it looks like, which is even more awesome news. So let's try to escape here without damaging my car and without paying a parking ticket. That would be awesome if we can do all three of those things. All right. I hate parking garages. Uh, let's not hit this Porsche. Oh my gosh. Let's not hit that Porsche. It's a Cayenne S, I don't wanna do that. So, that last one was an awesome payout. Almost $30 for that. Half a mile, like, heck yeah. I think I'm supposed to leave this way. Let's see here. I think I'm supposed to go this way. I'm not, I'm not completely sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the exit. It's a little bit confusing, but not too bad. All right, moment of truth. I probably have to pay, guys. Oh my goodness, it was free. Yeah, we're in. Let's get out of here. See, you don't need to, you don't need to park on the street and potentially get booted or towed you just park in the garage and be really quick about it said five items though and it's low miles. I'll just do this real quick. Thank you. We had to do a few declines on DoorDash so it dropped down to a 73% but I think it was worth it because 
they gave me another catering order. Holy crap. Another one, baby. We scored another one. This is Cheesecake Factory, 12 items. 12, $12 plus sign. I think it'll be probably $25 when it's all said and done, but who knows? Awesome, awesome, awesome. That was worth, it was worth declining those orders. So let's go grab this. So my heart is broken a little bit. I saw an Instacart offer come through. It was $30, like two items, less than eight miles. And yeah, I can't do it. batch on Instacart. It's at Kohl's. Five items, seven units, I think. Like four miles, less than four. For $17. I'm gonna shop for some men's clothing for a guy. So let's see. Let's do it. spent like 45 minutes on that Instacart batch to not even make $17. <sighs> I felt obligated to like go to customer service and see if they had some things in stock because I had to like literally refund almost everything in his order. With the exception of some t-shirts which I found like right away. Um, the guy had really big feet like size 12 to 15. I couldn't find the socks he needed. They just didn't have the size. Couldn't find the socks he needed. Um, he wanted a king size comforter set. They had one left and one of the associates was able to find that for me, thank God. So, but they didn't have a USB, you know, type C charging cable. They, they were out of that. So we had to re refund the socks and the charging cable, not a big deal. I feel really good that, hey, at least we found them the comforter set. You know, like, sure, I didn't make much money on that. I wasted a lot of time. I, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I've had such a good day that I'm willing to, you know, go the extra mile to make a customer happy, even if, like, I'm not gonna be compensated for it. So that's not me boasting or anything, but, like, sometimes you, you just have to do the right thing. Don't don't look for the easy way out you know when you're shopping instacart and refund everything um go the extra mile and you know at least we got something for them Thanks Robin. Uh, let's take a photo real quick. Okay. Alright. Quick order. That's right, this is the small one. That's all we need. 
coming in guys. Pretty small order. Had to do a few substitutions though. Let's see, what is it? Thank you. So I'm seeing a steep drop off in order quality. I'm probably gonna go home, guys. I'm not I'm not too too greedy where I feel like I need to make 250 bucks or 300 bucks on a Monday. It doesn't need to happen. Today was really low stress, you know. I'm not worried about it. We got the rest of the week to make the money that we need to. Um, it's all good. So right now my car says 89 miles I've driven. Not bad at all. It includes all of the deadheading, everything. Like I fill up at the beginning of the day at a gas station really close to my apartment. So that's very realistic, 89 miles. Um, and then I've got like seven miles to get back home from where I am right now. So a little under a hundred miles for all of my earnings, you know, uh, traveling to my zone, all the deadheading with orders, everything. And that's your total mileage. So pretty solid. Um, I'll show you my earnings at the end of this video. Thanks again so much for coming along with me and for subscribing and liking and commenting. I really appreciate your engagement and for going along with me on my journey of deliveries. See you next one.